you being shit at Zora is not an argument for Zora being harder than Vorkarf. I, I don't need to do Zora to show you the strat. I can pull up paint and show you the strat. Over the years, since Zora's release... Okay, this is gonna sound real arrogant, okay? But you're gonna love this. And you're gonna, you're gonna love it, because it's true. Over the years... Of RuneScape. Zora was released. When was Zora released? Zora release. Okay, this is gonna be good. You're gonna love this. Zora was released in 2015. Okay? And the Nightmare of Ashihama was released 2020. Okay? 6th of February 2020. About a month before that. I think so. Well, January 2020, okay? Stay with me. This is important. Zora was released January 2015. So, li almost literally five years, a little over five years, okay? There's this gap in RuneScape where I was not making content. So, you didn't have me making guides. You didn't have me teaching you correctly how to do bosses, okay? But since I've done that, the game has changed. How to learn bosses has changed. And going forward, Zora... 100% is easier to learn than Vorka because for five years every other content creator I shit you not is an idiot and cannot teach properly They take way too much time to make a guide. They teach you unnecessary mechanics They are overloading information on people who cannot receive the information properly You know how you get a job you go to work or you got a new person starting at work, okay? You've been at this job for five years new guy starts There are people at your job that you don't want training them because you know their shit those people you don't want training are the other content creators. You want me training the new guy. Let me show you, okay? Let me show you how it works. And I've got videos on my channel explaining this. So if you haven't seen it, feel free to go check it out. This is Zora's Island. Okay? 95, 98% of the rotations can be solved with one simple rule. When he is on either of the red zone and moves... Okay, so he's on the outside, he's, he's in the red zone. Or either red zone, doesn't matter. And he moves to either blue zone. All you do is you rotate from whatever side of the island you're on to the other. Rotation's done. You don't need to memorize him. You don't need a plug in. You do that. That is all you have to do. Zora moves from red to blue. You swap sides. That is all you do. Okay? Zora is never blue twice in a row. You only range the blue phase. Every other phase, you, you mage. Doesn't matter about color swap, but he's never blue twice in a row. So you always mage. Okay? He's, he's never blue twice in a row. So these are his phase colors. I'll use the wrong colors here, but this is a separate discussion up here now. Okay? Mage green. You mage red. And you range blue. Okay? Mage, mage, range. And he is never blue twice in a row. So if he's blue, you swap back to range gear instantly. Okay? Don't be afraid to run through the gas. It doesn't matter. Run through the gas. Don't worry about standing in specific safe spots. Move out of the way of his melee attack. You won't get hit. Wear a recoil ring. The snakelings die. And the snakes... Half the snakelings... So snakelings have two choices. You have snakeling one, which will melee you. And you have snakeling two, which will mage you. Okay? You pray mage when Zora isn't attacking you, and then this snakeling can't damage you. Half of the damage from snakelings is gone instantly, nullified. Always swap sides when he goes. Yeah, so when he's when he's from in the red positions and goes to the blue positions, you swap sides of the island. That's it. Doesn't matter about anything else. If he swaps position from red to blue, you swap sides, and then you wait for him to go from red to blue again. That's all you do. That is Zora done. What about when he goes from blue to red? You stay on that side. It's only when he goes from the outside into the inside. Even though for me, Vork is more braided, I think King might still tend to be right here. This is evidence that Zora is really easy to learn and really easy to do. And with this in mind, Zora is an easier boss than Volkar. Zora cannot one hit you. Zora doesn't require defense training stats for even mid-level weapons to be killed. Zora is faster to PB, faster for world records. There's a reason Iron Men will comfortably, especially Hakura Iron Men, will, will rather do no diary Zora rather than getting more than 50k C on Volkov. Even though Volkov drops are really good for Iron Men crafting wise, the uniques on Zora are arguably better. This is it. You being shit at Zora 
is not an argument for Zoro being harder than Vorkaf. Because when you're good at both, you will you will find that Zoro is easier than Vorkaf. And that just made Vorkaf a stack gear check. Not necessarily. When you're good at both, and when you've got both down, you will find Zoro easier, 100%. So for those that want to watch my tier list and tell me I'm wrong, you're coping. I'm telling you, this is it. Okay, let's have a look at this. So just Zoro. Okay. Let's have a look, so I know what you're talking about. This might be the one rotation that I said that, you know, wasn't it. So where's his rotations, okay? You're talking about which rotation? The fourth form. Which one's the fourth form? Fourth form. Range, right side. Rotate, oh sorry, it's rotation two, fourth form. Rotation two, okay. Fourth form. So what's the yellow mean? Stand here, so stand anywhere there, okay. Stand here, right? And he's here, and then he goes middle, middle, and then he's over here. So he's, you're over here when he's on the right. He goes from the red X to the blue X, and then the next time he's not in the blue X, he's on the other side of the island, is that correct? So if you notice the pattern, he's in the middle here the whole time. You know, this, is, this might be the, the stage here, maybe, outside, and then back on that side again. This looks like that might be the rotation. Otherwise, in, right side, middle, left side, middle, right side, middle. Middle, left side, middle, right side, middle, left side, middle, right side, middle, left side, middle. Middle, left side, right, middle, right side, middle, left side, middle, right side, middle, left side, middle. So you know how I said there's one rotation where it doesn't happen? That's here. Middle, right side, middle, middle, right side. Otherwise, middle, right side, middle, left side, middle, right side. Middle, left, middle, right, middle, left, middle, right, do, do, middle, left, middle. Middle, left, middle, right, middle, left, middle, right, middle. Were you trying to prove my point? You stay right that entire time? You can stay in whatever the fuck you want, really, just not inside gas. What you have to remember is people say there's safe spots and places to stand. Stand anywhere there isn't gas. Right? This is optimal, these yellow markings. The, the, the tile markers people use. Stand... Where you stand, it's just not in the gas. That's all you do. If you have to run through the gas, then fuck, eat some food and run. You've got po the anti-venom. You might even have a surf helm on. So stand where you're not in the gas. It doesn't matter where you stand. But he will move right, middle, left, middle, right, middle, left. Always. Except for one time or one rotation where it's right, middle, right. That is it. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, god damn. Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge.